All right, let's do this. Oh, there's a big wooden wall in my way. Well, let's grab this thing and see what happens. Oh my, it's the party ball. Let's do this. Let's throw a party. Let's throw a party for the door. Oh, it exploded and the guts are everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Deki Nosai here with another episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We are here in the Dodongo's Cavern. It is a very nice and warm dungeon. It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. Well, thanks for the useful information, Navi. It's not like I couldn't see that earlier, but hey, it works. It's a beginner dungeon, so of course she's going to be talking her mm, face off. <laughs> I was about to say something horrible. Let's grab this bomb here and actually throw it against this wall, this party ball. Yeah, I'm going to call them party balls from now on. And when it explodes, you'll find ourselves with a chest. What's in the chest? Oh my god, I can't find out. What, what, what is this? What is this madness? I don't get it. I don't understand. What is this? It's a map, of course. I mean, what did you expect? <laughs> no, um, a lot of people don't really get the map the first time they go through, which is kind of ridiculous. But at the same time, if you don't know the dungeon in the first place, you really weren't gonna... You know, you can't really tell where things are in the dungeon the first time you see it. So, you know what I mean? Anyways, you might notice we kind of screwed up here. Uh, we weren't supposed to go in the lava, obviously. It's kind of, you know, kind of not the usual path. Ah! Whoa, dude, calm down with your laser flash. Oh my god. Uh, to kill those things, you couldn't just, like, throw bombs at them. But I'm gonna just go through this door anyways. Let's go. What's behind door number one? Ah, it's just a Sheikah stone. Oh well. <laughs> what time is it, boy? 2356, oh my. <laughs> so if you go up here, you'll notice that there's actually like a stone wall here, and there's also this big mini head with a laser on his eye. Well, you, we, we want to get rid of that guy, so what we want to do is bring a bomb and completely miss. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> uh, let's try that again, this time with feeling. Come on. There we go. I always find it more, um, more functional. If you just aim at them directly on, head on, apply directly through the forehead. <laughs> Let's just grab this bomb here and bring it to the door and we're on our way out. Oh wait, did I, did that spare bomb actually blow up the door? Wow. <laughs> okay, well in this room you'll find these baby little dodongos. And with this one you actually want to pull out your sword and wait by this door. Because there's something I want to get. You just slash him over here and make sure he's close enough to that door so that he blows it up. Because you don't want to carry a bomb rock over here, trust me on that one. You'll more, more likely than not fail at it. So in this room, you actually want to go over here and you'll notice these, uh, these keys. Well, you just want to kill the keys before they kill you. Make sure we get rid of all of them. I'm a quick shot. BAM! <laughs> and then we want to get our reward, which is obviously a gold sculptula. Whoa, I was a little bit close to my mic there, but anyways. Now that we're done with that, we just go through back back through this door, go into this room, and climb this little hill without getting hit. I mean, those little cute things are too adorable. Now you notice this little button here. Well, you want to grab this statue. Uh, I don't know how it's supposed to be obvious to get the statue, but anyways, you just move the statue and press the button with it. It's really simple. After that's all said and done, you just go back up here and open the door! Ow. That's not how you open a door, that's how you bang your knee against the door. Seriously. I like how those two bats just converge on that location while I just bypass them. Oh god, this is fun! Um, I'm gonna switch my Hylian shield here. And what do you have here? Some Lizalfos, that's right. Now the, what, the key strategy is to just keep on shielding until it hits you, and then just like whamming in the face after you get hit. I mean, it's basically the same thing as that, like the, the werewolf thing I fought earlier in the Lost Woods, if you remember that. It's basically the same fight, just elongated. Believe it or not, on my first playthrough of this game as a kid, I was actually having a lot of difficulty with this because I would never use the shield! And if I did, it was the Deku shield, and I never thought to actually switch to the Hylian shield. It's kind of kind of silly. But yeah, this was one of my more frustrating moments. I never liked fighting these guys. They're, they're, they're just evil. So, now that I know how to fight them, I always just like to deal with them as quickly as I can. Because then, I Deku as hard as possible. I believe if you leave the room, 
and come back. They they come back or something like something like that. Maybe maybe it's if you die and come back to the room, they respawn or something. But the bottom line is, you only need to come through here once. So if you want to if you want to go through this room, make it count. Anyways, you want to find your way through this room here. Um, just go to the opposite side is all I can tell you really. Just open this door and bam, you're in a room with blue floors. If you don't, if you're not in a blue room with, or if you're not in a room with blue floors, well, you're lost. <laughs> Just grab this bomb flower here and drop it next to this door that I, you know, tapped so lightly. And you'll find yourself in a room with, well, we don't know yet. Oh, it's just a Deku scrub. It's important to note here that you can shoot it with a slingshot if you don't have your Deku shield out because you can't deflect it with the Hylian shield. And, well, I gotta say it, that guy's a ripoff artist, that's right. That Deku scrub we just ran into, he's a freaking ripoff artist. Anyways, what we wanna do now is just get the freaking Deku stick lighted on fire. And we wanna kind of avoid these Dodongos, I mean. You know, I really don't like them. I'm not even gonna try to mess with them. Just light the torches and you'll be on your way. <laughs> Bye! Ooh, you're kinda hot, aren't you? Oh my. Hmm. You know what? Fine, for consistency's sake, I'll show you how to beat it. All you have to do is just whack it on the tail and watch out because when it turns around, It'll hit you with its tail and then breathe fire on you. I'd kind of let that happen just to demonstrate what happens if you're an idiot like me. And basically all you have to do from now on is just whack it on the tail once more and just run away from it whenever it does that. Also as an added bonus, it'll explode when you kill it. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I thought it was. So once you're in this hallway, all you have to do is just hit this button. And what do you know, this door opens across there and you'll be able to proceed through the dungeon. That's right, we're almost there, folks. We are actually very close to beating this dungeon, but only enough. Whoa there, buddy, don't stare at me with those eyes. <laughs> so we're just gonna wait here for a second, but I'm not gonna show you that. Okay, I'm back. So all we have to do is jump across here and go to this door. What's behind it? Hmm, that's an array of bomb flowers I see there. Interesting. That's right. But first, we want to deal with something else. Grab this bomb here and plant it on this door. Trust me on this one. I'm a genius. BAM! <laughs> That's right. Behind this door is... Three statues. Oh my. And what do we have over here? A bomb flower. Well, we can, we can imagine what we have to do here. Just touch this statue and BAM! Those monsters are actually called... Armos is funnily enough, like Armos. <laughs> just just want to throw that out there. Now it's going to get stuck on this bomb and it's going to die, but we're not going to actually show that. It's because it's going to twirl around like a man and all of a sudden over like a... What? I don't even know what that was all about, but anyways, let's open this chest because I don't know. I want to know what's in this chest because, oh my god, this chest is so amazing. It's like, oh my god. It's a compass. That's right, now we can tell where we are in a room. Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't you like the ability to be able to tell where you are in a room? I mean, looking at the map is just overrated. You want to grab this bomb flower and plant it right between these two here because, you know, those two are lonely. They're, they don't have anybody to sit behind. Oh, I see. He must have had an explosive personality. Mm. <laughs> yes, the stairs will lower and we will be able to climb them. That's right. Stop staring at them, Link. Just go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I, I always liked how this going up the stairs thing kind of worked in a kind of rhythm. If you put out like a bass track behind it, you would be able to see the rhythm. It's kind of unique. Go ahead and get these hearts here if you like. This rupee and a heart if you like. Because, you know, we're always low on energy. And we need health. We need health. And what do you know? There's a target there. It's a regular Skulltula. Must be a gold Skulltula close by, don't you think? That's right. But how are we going to get up there? How the hell are we going to get up there? Well, we just climbed this. Unfortunately, we derped and kind of grabbed the wrong side. But, mm, like two seconds work. Come on now. <laughs> so, we go through this door here, and all of a sudden, we are in another room that's gated. Oh, no. And we have these Armoses here, these Armos guys. But you don't have to fight any of them. All you have to do is just move this one off. Come on, let's just Z target these guys and blow them off. 
Funny thing here, I was talking about fire th fire being able to burn a Deku shield. Well, that's why I'm not actually using the Deku shield right now. I'm, a I'm actually using the Hylian shield at the moment because it's made of metal and it doesn't burn like a pixie. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and move this guy along here for a bit. You know what I mean? Go up this ladder and what do you know? We are on a button. A button of awesome proportions. That's right. Now, you want to go through this door here that it zoomed in on because, well, the game likes to point you in the right direction. <laughs> Funnily enough. So let's take a look at our surroundings for a second. We have this bush here, and it's doing alright by itself, I guess, until I killed it. And then we have this Keese here who doesn't like minding his own business. That's right. Let's just go ahead and cross the bridge after sniping this guy. Let's, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do this? I suck. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's just hop across this hole here. No need to worry about that, but we don't want to fall off. That's the main part here. We're going to just go through here, and we find ourselves in this little room. Now, you want to watch out because there are some little things on the floor that will kill you if, in, a, in a moment's notice. You never know what will be around the corner in these narrow paths. Use Z-targeting to always look in the pair proper direction. This is a useful technique, isn't it? Uh, yes, I was just explaining that, Navi. Thanks for pointing that out. That thing will murder you unless you're avoidant of it, and you don't really need much to avoid it. So you want to just hop onto... No, no, get down, Link. Get down. I know you, I know how much you like ladders, but get down. Okay, so you want to just open this chest, and you get 40 rupees. 20 rupees, actually, I believe. Yeah, yeah, 20 rupees. So all you have to do is just hold this bomb flower, and this is the tricky part. You have to wait until it's just the right moment and throw it at this wall here. Oh wow, I actually made it the first try, that's awesome. All right, a lot of time saved right there. <laughs> uh, so obviously you can see what we can do here. We just th th throw a Deku seed at that and all of a sudden we're not fiery anymore, that's right. We just proceed through this room and day, well, I was about to say Deku scrubs. Dodongos, baby Dodongos, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Yes, you were waiting for that reference, weren't you? Oh God, you guys. Oh god, not this again. Come here often. Oh my. But yes, we just... It's the same thing like before. All you have to do is just attack it after it attacks you. And you can't really hit it after you hit it. Because it's basically on a sequence. It's kind of made to simulate an epic duel or some sorts. And... I don't know. I don't... I don't, I, I don't really uh, find it... I mean, it's epic, it's epic, I guess, but I don't really find it thrilling. <laughs> I guess that's because, what are you guys doing back there? Do I need to split you up? Like, seriously, that looks completely wrong back there. I think I'm gonna have to take one of you out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so now it's just you. Come on, come at me, bro. Come on. Hello. Yes, that's right. Hit me. Hit me. BAM! That's right. You did! Your door's open. I like it- I, I find it hilarious how I don't even actually move around and explore the rooms of these guys because it's such a waste of time, but if you're daring and you're low on health, you can cross this bridge here. Um, if you drop down this hole here, you can actually get back to the other room, which is a huge backtrack, and, you know, you don't really want to go back down there, but it's up to you, man. <laughs> what you should do is go back over here, to this door right here. Open this door and oh my, you're in a different room now. It's like you're in a whole different world. A whole new world. Okay, I'm done. You just shoot the eye like last time. But wait, Jackie, there's fire still here. Why don't you just look to the left? And there's one right there. Whoa. What is going on here? <laughs> Alright, so no more fire. Let's just immediately quickly hop across here and we are awesome. That's right. Now, we don't want to actually... Hmm. Okay, there seems like a, a stone wall back there. Well, what's in this chest? I want to see what's in this chest, because this chest is awesome. You know what I mean? This chest... I like this chest. You know what I mean? It's made of some nice mahogany. Maybe from Zarsan 7. Here's a bomb bag! That's right. The beautiful, lovely bomb bag. It allows us to carry 20 bombs. Bombs? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Let's go ahead and equip those on, I believe, C left. That's right. Mm -hmm. Left is right, guys. Trust me on this one. I'm a genius. And what you want to do is... Mm, I 
I'm kind of confused. This room is kind of confusing me, honestly. Uh, I think I'm, I'm supposed to go down here, maybe? Let's find out. What's behind door number two? Oh god, it's just you guys. I'm leaving. <laughs> Those are some more ripoff salesmen. I'll... Uh, oh my god. This is the... This is that room, isn't it? Yeah, it's that room. Oh no. I have to go all the way around, guys. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Moving right along here, we just go right across that room and we find ourselves on a button? <laughs> that was random as hell. That makes a platform rise and lower up to the second floor, making it easier to come here. Well, let's check out this stone. No, no, Link. No, I, I know you like to glomp things, but no. Giant dead Dodongos, when it sees red, a new way to go will reveal itself. <laughs> Not quite what was said there, but the gist is we have to drop some bombs. That's right, we have to drop the, the Deku bomb. <laughs> Not really. Uh, just drop just drop a bomb in its eye. I'm just gonna jump across anyways. And its eye lights up red. Do the same here. And then I'm also gonna jump across here. What? You're kidding me. Um, let's try this again, this time with feeling. <laughs> you don't really need feeling to, you know, place an explosive though, but it kinda helps, you know what I mean? Now it's just it's just a jaw dropping experience, you know what I mean? You'll you'll be saying wow every time. So we have this door here. It's it's all it's commonly overlooked, but what's in this door is a chest. Now, there are two things that could possibly come out of this chest. One is this blue rupee here, but another is a Deku shield in case it burns. It's very useful to know that in case you really like the Deku shield. Ah! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh, so just go in this door. In the back of this guy's throat. And, well, you thought this was a boss, but nope. You see there's a button in that hole there, but we can't activate that switch yet. Because it's, it's like a switch, you see? It's like a switch. It's like a switch. <laughs> no. But it's a, it's one of those switches where you have to hold it on there forever. So what we should do instead is go through this here. This, this corridor here. It's a really long corridor, a lengthy tunnel. Oh my. And we find ourselves in this little trench here. Die! Die, Zubat! Die! Now this is a rather lengthy corridor too, it's like a trench, you see. All we have to do is just head to this side over here, across the- Whoa, why did I jump? Oh well. Just grab this block and make it level with this other block. You know, just make sure it's close enough. And we want to climb this block, even though we could just climb the, you know, the floor anyways, but climb this block, go up here, and then all of a sudden we will find ourselves on the top of this path here. And what do you know? This is the way to the room. However, I'm gonna push this block forward because I'm awesome, you know what I mean? That's right, what we need to do is actually come up here, bomb this door right here because there's something we need before we leave this dungeon. That's right, it's a very important sub-quest item. We find here our last Armos, the last Armos we will ever fight, and a familiar noise. Come on, come on, wake up. You're, you're lazier than I was in episode one, come on. Just blow up. There you go. There you go. Now you just go berserk and spin around town. Bring it around town. And we got a freaking gold sculpture token, that's right. That's the last gold sculpture token we will ever have to get from this place. That is it, we're done. Now all we have to do is make our way back there, but how do we do that? Well, we just go back up here and go on this block. Because blocks are easy to go by. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. So you just want to run across this room once again and find yourself next to this corridor. And where do we find ourselves? Oh my. What's this block doing here? I think I'll push it just because, you know, I'm a jerk. I like pushing around blocks. I like pushing things around. Pushing things around is kind of fun. Oh my. Now then, we just want to bring this all the way to the middle of the room because we're jerks like that. We want to humiliate this block. We want to just shove it. Ow! Dick. <laughs> we just want to humiliate this block by putting it in a hole that it can't escape from. I mean, don't you just hate it when you lose your block? It's not a fun experience. It's like losing your dog spot or your cat mythos. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point, but... 
Yeah, just, just suffice to say, losing your block is like losing so much. We just enter the boss door. That's right, the boss door. In this room, we have a dirt patch that we can just go ahead and bomb real quick. And we also have a chest over there as well, if you can see it off in the distance. Just open it real quick, and you will find yourself with... If we can get it, come on. There we go. For some reason, I had some weird problems angling myself, but we get some bombs. That's right. We get some bomb refills. Funnily enough, that's what we'll need here. Ah, I land nicely. I don't know how that worked, but okay, mister. What? What are you looking at? You're not getting my Doritos. I don't care what you look like, sir. You're not getting my... No, no, no. Don't even try to suck me up like Kirby. <laughs> Alright, so we have here the King Dodongo. We actually have its main weakness. For... Wow, why did I double draw? You want to throw a bomb in its mouth, obviously, and slice it with your sword when he's down, and then he'll just try to run you over, but just use your Hylian shield and you'll be able to just avoid it. Unless you avoid it like I just did. After that, the fights just rinse, wipe, repeat. All you have to do is just continue the same process, and he'll be down in no time. Just... <gasps> Boom! That's right. The most effective attack is going to be the jump attack here, and watch out because he'll just try to run you over like a madman. You know, he he's, he is a van right now, and you don't want to be under that van. <laughs> uh, so, normally he faces the other way, but I'll just live with this. <laughs> Oh, I missed what? No, 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 no! God damn it. I'm on fire. <sighs> you could have saved me, Comey. You could have saved me. But you didn't. Alright, so hopefully we can make this work again. He's facing the same way again? Really? Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, so like most bosses in this game, I believe you can take him down on a three strikes rule, so, um... Oh wow, now he turns the right direction. Okay, I see I see how it is, the Dongo. You like to throw me off, huh? Oh god. Well, actually, if he hits the second wall, it's just gonna be right here, so it doesn't really matter much. All you have to do is just one more time. Let's do this! Uh, you blew up in my hands. Are you cereal? Okay, good, 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 okay. Now let's take him down. Gotcha! Definitely not the most pleasant of deaths I've ever witnessed, but who says death is beautiful? <laughs> Let's just grab this heart container real quick. That'll extend our life counter by a one, which is oh, uh, which is amazing considering we need all the hearts we can get. And then we'll just go through this portal. And we find ourselves back outside of Goron City, kind of. Oh no, he's heard of my sacred Doritos. It's me, Darunia. Well done. I just beat the crap out of you. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cabin until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf Gerudo. Excuse me. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's what you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship.
You have obtained the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody! It's Chugga Conroy. What? <laughs> Let's see our brother off. You did great! How about a big Goron hug, brother? Oh my god, they're after me! They want my Doritos. I must go! Alright, so that was... That was the Jongo's Cavern. Let me know what you think. Until next time, take it easy and deck it harder!